oh, what a day. <laughs> um, I'm just really proud of the team. Uh, took everybody in that, in that dugout in our circle. Um, and I'm just really proud of their fight and their heart. Um, I told them today, I, like, they're very, very good softball players. And the thing I'm most proud of is their heart and their fight um, and, and their belief in each other. I thought the crowd was incredible. Um, I thought it was a difference maker from the beginning. Um, and I thought our team continued to be businesslike. I think they played with a ton of emotion today, but didn't get emotional. And I'm just really proud of their composure and, um, and how they finished it. Paul, go ahead. Yeah, can you kind of expound on that a little just from the standpoint of, of getting behind after getting the two run homer from Braxton and then they come back right back and punch you right back, but your team kind of kind of stayed the course from there and, and went on and finished it. Yeah, it's postseason. You know that whoever you play, they're going to throw punches and um, and we expected it. You know, we expected it. I think it kind of took us an inning to kind of get back on track. Um, and I thought the difference maker in that was Lenny, Lenny's at bat. I thought um, she had incredible composure. Uh, we thought she obviously hit one out there. Um, and she controlled her emotions, grinded a way to get on base for us and really got something going. And um, I thought Mary came in and, and did what Mary does. And um, I'm just really proud. It took everyone today. Um, you know, Stormy, I actually thought Stormy looked good. I thought her pitches that weren't quite as stormy like were two strike pitches kind of gave them a chance and um I think we didn't make some plays that were a difference maker in that first inning um but we stayed the course and 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 continued to fight and and grabbed control back of the game and and get, didn't give it up so I'm Randy go happy. ahead oops sorry coach that's okay Randy go ahead coach I'm kind of confused on some of the rules uh one on the home run, well, turns out to be a foul ball by Lenny. Uh, why is there no video replay to where you can look at that? Good question. I think we're, um, I think it's time for us to really look into that, to be completely honest. We as a conference are, um, we used it in our SEC tournament. We aren't, we aren't there yet nationally. I think we're a lot closer as a conference, but I, I do think it's time. Um, our sport, um, I think our sport deserves it for the level of play that these athletes play at. I, I just think it's time for us to, to make that, make that happen. Um, but it's not, we don't have it yet. A lot of times it's just the, the uh, camera angles. I don't want to get into it. I think it's time. I'll just say, I think it's time. I think it's fair. I think it was a tape measure shot, by the way. Uh, how important was it to get Braxton back in the groove with that first inning home run? Well, I don't know that it was important as much that it was a spark for us. You know, I think that she's seeing the ball well. I think that she's battled to get back from, from her injury. And shoot, you know, I'll give her a ton of credit. She was ready to go on that first pitch. She was on time. And and that means she was grinding on deck. And it means that Hannah McEwen saw a good amount of pitches to make Brax really comfortable with that first pitch. Um, and Brax could just work her timing during Hannah's at bat. Um, so... You know, I, I just think it's a huge spark for us. Um, but I honestly think that there were tons of sparks throughout our lineup. I thought Lenny was a difference maker all weekend. I thought Ryan was huge for us. I thought Keeley grinded to get that chopper up the middle and then busted it down the line to beat it out. I, I just think it takes everyone. And I, um, I'm just really proud of how they just fought for each other. I don't know, question on Brax. Was that a precaution when you took her out in the sixth for a pinch runner? Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it just bothers her the most when she's running. And, um, and so it was just kind of time, you know, we could give her some time in the dugout and, and Audrey's very quick. Um, and it's something we'll probably look to do probably through the postseason until Brax feels a hundred percent. Sorry. I, I was screaming a lot today. I have a husky voice. I don't know what this voice is. <laughs> Sound great. Thank you, coach. <laughs> Nate, go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, Courtney, just the decision on that, because Mary said she was going to be pitching in relief, but obviously you went to her really early, just kind of went into went into your decision on that. Well, I mean, when Autumn came off, you know, I thought she looked good. I just thought the pitches she missed were two strike pitches and gave him a chance to hang a little bit. I think if we make, you know, if she makes that throw on the comebacker, um, or, you know, I think Gib had a chance to catch one there and that same at bat, you know, it's a different inning. Um, we would have been out of it. 
Uh, and then she came in, we were making adjustments. And when she walked in the dugout, she slipped and twisted her ankle. That's, that's why she came out. I have a ton of trust and, and belief in Stormy. And I knew she was going to get right back on track. So I think it's an easy adjustment for someone like her, but she slipped and twisted her ankle. Um, and so it was just time at that point to go to Mary. Thanks. Jason, go ahead. How special is this one? I know, I mean, 2018, but this time you get to stay at home uh, this coming weekend and just the emotions that come with, with winning another regional title. Yeah, um, it's really special. Um, and, and to be honest, the special piece of it is that it was, it was our players' expectation. Um, and so I think that when you look at what they've done and what they've built, and this was where they expected to be, um, and I think you could see that through this weekend. I think you could see it through the course of the game is, is they, they knew they were going to win this. And I think that's the difference. I think we knew it three years ago when we won it, but this time throughout this year, they've just had, they've had a really special year. This is a really special group and they have their sights set on what they want. And they're very businesslike and, and, and trying to accomplish that. And I just think there's a lot to be said for, you know, these super seniors that came in and, and really grinded to get this program going. And then you go into a weekend like this and their full expectation is to be hosting a super. I just think that's, that's really stinking cool. <laughs> so I think it's awesome. Eric, go ahead. Co Coach, from a standpoint of compared to 2018, what, as a staff, what did you take from that experience? experience that you take with you this week that will help you prepare this week for the Super. Well, I fully think that when you experience something, you can see it and you can see yourself there. So we've been in this position before earning this, earning the seed and um, three years ago. And so we know what it takes to get through a regional. Um, and I think that now we've had a dose of what a super is like, and now we get to do it on at home. I mean, look at that crowd today and think of what it's going to be next weekend. Um, I just, you know, you earn it. I feel like that, that we had a moment in the outfield and I'm like, soak this in because you guys earned that. Um, and so I, I just think that when you experience something that becomes your experience and that becomes your expectation and now we'll continue to push that forward. Um, and so, I, you know, I, we're going to be a lot more comfortable in the super this time, not just because it's home, but we've, we've already been there and now we know how to be better in that moment.